Yeah, let's check out Orphan Mac Dump. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're freaking awesome and let me know how you feel about this song after we are finished with it. Or maybe you already saw it, heard it, you can tell me down in the comments what I'm in for. And after you can comment how wrong I was. So let's go. Orphan Mac Dump. Boom. I can say like in a very simple language what was happening. Okay, okay, we're gonna get into that uh, after this. We got some backwards. Oh, church burning! Hey, just a usual mo Monday morning in Norway. I think it was Norway where it happened. What? It's obscene, and it comes from a clutch of hysterical, sinister virgins who've already betrayed their charge in the children of their own church. What the heck? Uh, you cannot see it, but I got chills everywhere. This is... Ugh. Oh, these vocals are almost... That's gotta hurt, like, that vocal style's gotta hurt. Also, it reminds me of, what was it, uh, 10, uh, 56, that kind of band. I'm not sure if I might have messed up uh, their name because I have this calculia and I don't remember numbers. There you go. But it's like, you know, obviously against like, you know, what some religious uh, people do. All the bad shit that they do. And oh boy, there is a lot of that. 1056, yeah. Jesus Christ, well, that, saying that is actually not a good idea during this one, <laughs> but still. It's crazy. I'm not entirely sure what Megdump actually means. If uh, anyone can explain that to me, that would be great because I have no idea. Megda. Oh shit, I know. I know. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop right there. Megdump. It's like when you unload. The video says it. You unload the whole magazine from your uh, rifle, whatever you have. Am I mistaken? Am I right? Let me know. Because you dump everything. You know, it's like, kind of like spray, uh, pray and spray. Is that the wording? I hope it is. That's what it is. Okay. It makes a lot of sense with this video. Yeah, right there. It's a nice big vocal, uh, big guitar that we had there for a moment. Oh my god. It's gonna go into another beast mode very soon, I can feel it. Ooh! It's a little bit more on the hardcore side with this part. This vocalist is awesome, man. Oh, the fast-paced vocals right there were so fucking cool. That was awesome. It's like you can hear his voice breaking. It's so crazy. It's so emotional. It's raw as fuck. And I really like that. And I really respect that. Just take care of your voice, man. Take care of your voice, man. Don't blow it off. Blow it out. What is the wording for that? Blow it out, I guess. That's Grandma Crouch Kingdoms, Jesus Christ. 
And again, I shouldn't have that said that. Jesus. No, oh, I need to stop. Whoa. Whoa, damn. It's all repeating, you know, these images. Okay, I need an explanation on what that was. That seems like something that, you know, when you go through a forest and you see this big gaping hole, gaping hole, why did I say that? Big hole in the ground and, you know, it's the entrance to hell. This is what you hear. What the fuck, man? Whoop whoop, yep. Damn. Talk about being pissed off, holy shit. As he say poor god? Oh, fuck god. There we go. Oh, at the end it almost sounded like... Oh, mother, uh, he says like motherfucker or something like that. Holy shit, that is... When you say someone's pissed off, this is... From now on, this is what gonna, I am going to be imagining. Because that was incredible. That was Orphan Mech Dump. And I think the message is very clear from this song. I don't think I need to get into that at all. This is very, you know, self-explanatory, I would say. The dude who screams like he's being murdered actually tore a vocal cord while recording their debut album. It's absolute insanity. I can definitely see that happening here. Because <clears throat> when you do stuff like this, it's gotta be really easy to do that. You know, if you're even if you're a trained singer, even if you're like I'm not even sure if this is like a that kind of a healthy technique for these kinds of vocals. This kind of vocals. Maybe it's not. Because this sounds very... Uh, I'm not a vocalist. I don't know the terminology. But it doesn't sound healthy. At some points. At some points. You know, like the growls. I think that's okay. But some of the, like, super, you know, screamy stuff where his voice breaks. That, that I think, is just very dangerous. But again, you get the raw emotions out that way. So unless you're doing it all the time, I think that's okay. Uh, you still gotta be careful. It's primal, it's aggressive. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's 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 the best way to put it. It's just wow, that was that was intense. And you know the music was really cool as well. It was like quite minimalistic, but you don't need a whole lot of happening when you have this vocal presence and this. And you are this pissed off. You don't really need that, you know. You will get the message across. You don't need shiny solos. You don't need insane synths. You don't need like. You don't. You just need, you know, heavy shit, and good production. And this definitely, you know, had that. So, yeah, and a pretty striking message. Gotta say that. Pretty damn striking. So, yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, thank you so much. And let me know how you feel about this song, about the message, about uh, anything that we just experienced. Because what we just experienced was pure, unfiltered anger in musical form. So, yeah. Let's move on.